There's plenty of tutorials on camera tracking. However, most of them fail to explain which type of tracking you need for your shot. So for example, the process for tracking is different for say, attaching a graphic to a wall, which is stationary inside your shot, but versus attaching a graphic uh, to an object that is moving within your shots. So Jordan is gonna explain how to do all this with his epic voice. Not that epic, but there are two built-in tools in After Effects for attaching and tracking graphics to your footage. There's the 3D camera tracker tool, which is used as an effect. So, in simple terms, you use this tool when you want to attach your object to something that is not moving in the scene, like the wall or the floor. Then, there's the track motion tool, which is used for tracking and attaching elements to objects that are actually moving in your scene. For example, people moving in your shot, or a car that drives by the camera. So now we'll show you how to successfully accomplish both of these types of tracks in After Effects. And remember, be sure to track your mouse onto that like button and give it a click. The first tracking technique we'll use is the 3D camera tracker tool to track a graphic to the background of our footage. There's two ways to apply the 3D camera tracker to your footage. The first way is to highlight your footage, then go up to Effect, Perspective, 3D camera tracker, then it's gonna apply to your footage and begin the tracking process. The other way is by going to Window, Tracker, highlight your footage, then on the Tracker window, select Track Camera, and that will also start the tracking process. Once the tracking process is done, you'll notice that there's all these different points and areas on our footage. These are known as planes. And I'm not talking about that type of plane. You can get a better look at them by increasing the track point size and the target size on the Effect Controls window. What we want to focus on is the target in the middle and find one that's oriented the same direction as the wall in the background like this. If you can see, when I move my mouse around, some of these targets are facing in different directions than the wall and we don't want that. Right click the target with a proper orientation, then choose Create Solid and Camera. Now you can see we have a solid object and camera, and if I scrub through the footage, it's tracked to the wall in the background. To replace this with our own graphic, right click the solid, Choose Precompose, we'll name it Wall Track, make sure Leave All Attributes is highlighted, that's very important, then click OK. We'll highlight our title that we want to track, press Ctrl X to cut it from this main comp, double click the Wall Track comp to open it, then press Ctrl V to paste the title into it. Now go up to Composition, Composition Settings, and change the aspect ratio to be the same as the graphic you're using. This one is 1920 by 1080 and then click OK. Recenter your graphic if it's not properly aligned, then delete the track solid that was created so that we're just left with our title here. And when we go back to our main composition, you can see that our title is here and tracked to our wall. Now we can fine tune our title to make it fit the scene however we want. We can increase its scale, change its position, and if it doesn't quite line up with the orientation of the wall, you can adjust its rotation to fine tune it until it does. To blend in our title with the background, highlight it, go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise, increase the noise to around 10% or so, and uncheck Use Color Noise. If you zoom in, you can see our footage has a bit of a graininess to it, and the noise effect helps to get our title to match that better with the rest of the composition. If you don't want your graphics going in front of the subjects of your footage like this, what you can do is select the title, Choose the pen tool and just create a mask to hide it behind anything you need. To track more titles to your background, all you need to do is find another plane on the 3D camera effect and repeat this process with whatever graphics you'd like to add. And now you know how to use the 3D camera tracker tool to track graphics to the background of your footage. If you were wondering, all of the titles and graphics we're using this tutorial are from our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack inside our Motion Duck extension. If you're interested in saving hours of time per project and having access to high quality templates, all you have to do is preview a template you like and then click apply. Then once it's out on the timeline, you can change the colors and graphics to fit your needs. And under a minute, you'll have a full piece of work complete with minimal effort. So if you're interested in saving time and producing high quality work, be sure to check out our links below to see all of the templates we have. Next, we're gonna use the track motion tool to track graphics to the moving objects in our footage. For this effect, the only way to apply it is with the tracker window. Start by highlighting the footage, make sure you're at the start of the timeline, then click track motion. You'll see that a track point is put onto the composition, 
And what we want to do is take that and put it onto a point on our moving object that has high contrast. This means a point where there's a visible difference between the lightness and darkness so that the tracker can easily keep track of the point as it's moving. You also want to try and make sure that nothing passes across the track point and that it's on a place that stays fairly consistent throughout your clip. We can also increase the size of the tracking box around our point so that it covers a wider area. Next, go to the tracker window and enable rotation as well as scale. Now you'll see a second track point will appear on the composition. For this one, we want to put it on the opposite side of this light bar, also on a high point of contrast just like the first one. The reason it's on the opposite side is that this second point is a reference for the rotation and scale. Having it on this side will provide an axis so that when the footage plays out, it can gather data for how the object rotates and moves. Now that our two points are set up, we'll look at our tracker window and what we can do is click Analyze One Frame Forward, and now you can see when we zoom in is that the tracker has moved with our object and left a keyframe at the previous position. To fully track the footage, click the Analyze Forward button and your footage will begin to play while tracking the points gathering motion data on it. This will take a few moments to complete. And now you can see the path of both sides of our object are fully tracked with keyframes made for all of it. Not all footage will have good points of contrast for you to put trackers on, however. For example, if this footage was just a close-up on the face, our best bet for tracking would be something like her eyes. But you can see, when she closes her eyes in the middle of the footage, the tracking starts to get off course and on a different part of her face. To fix this, you're able to manually go frame by frame and move the tracker to the appropriate position and then resume your tracking. Next, go to Layer, New, Null Object, we'll name it Object Track, then highlight the footage, and in the Tracker window, click Edit Target. Select the Object Track Null, click OK, click Apply, then leave it as X and Y and click OK again. Now you can see our Null Object here is tracked to our object and we can start attaching graphics to it. I'm going to use our Motion Duck extension to quickly import a social media graphic onto the timeline. I'll adjust its scale and position to where I want it to be in relation with our moving object, then all I need to do is parent this graphic to the object track null. Now you can see it's fully tracked to our moving object, and if we want to add any more graphics, all we need to do is position them where we want and then parent them to the null. You can add as many as you want. And just like that, we know the two main ways to do motion tracking on your footage in After Effects. Remember to download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, links available in the description below, and remember, always be creating.